I'm Shovel and welcome back to my channel. We're on the avenue and this is a voiceover because I had audio issues again. So I'm going to be voicing over all the things that happened in a very fast fashion and then we'll get back to a regular episode. First of all, I found this chest in front of my house so I wanted to check that out and it happens to be debt payment from Grazer for the house that I built him. 24 diamonds. My plan for today was to go out into the Aether and do some dungeons because I haven't done them but then I walked into the house and I found the prank that H had left for me. So everywhere I walk in the house there's just one of these one of these guys standing there ready to scare the bejeebus out of me. So even though H left me that awful prank, I decided to bring him to help me with these dungeons since he's done them before, and he was already waiting in the window, which is really weird. But, I mean, he's pretty weird. He's also pretty mad that I broke his window. What, what? So we head over to the Aether portal in the middle of the city to try and find ourselves a dungeon because I've never defeated a slider before. And I kind of want to get all of the armors to display in our base. When we eventually found a dungeon that hadn't been done before, I was super scared, it was very dark, and I've never been in one of these before. But I have pretty good armor and weapons, and I can fly. So I went in, I got super spooked immediately, and I ran back out because I saw something and then it scared me. Eventually I went through and I killed all of the little bosses that you have to kill before you can open the door to the slider, and there's three of them. And eventually I finally faced the slider. He moves around the room just sliding around, but he literally never did damage any time he hit me because my armor's just so good. So this was a piece of cake. I killed him and he exploded in a bunch of bunch of goodies and I got an achievement. But he dropped a bunch of armor pieces and items and stuff that I'll sort through later. But I was so proud I finally beat my first slider. From there I sent H home and I decided to keep going and defeating a bunch of these sliders to get as much of the armor pieces as I could because I wanted to complete all the sets from the Aether. Okay, I was just coming on to show you all the sets of the armor that I got and I found a cake on the other side of the portal to our base. Oh god, that scared me. It makes me think someone might have found it. And I'm a little bit worried about that. But anyway, here are all the sets of armor. I'm wearing the Valkyrie armor, it's so cool. This is the Neptune armor, let me put, let me try putting all of it on so you can see. That's the Valkyrie armor on the stand. And then there's me wearing the Neptune armor. I like the crown, very cool. Now I want this back. The Phoenix armor isn't as cool, it's just orange. But I mean, that, I mean it's okay. I don't know if it does anything if I wear the gloves for all the sets. I think it just adds fire resistant. Okay, so it doesn't add anything like wings like the Valkyrie armor does. But I have all the gloves too. That's my old armor that I put on that stand. I'd still use that for fighting because the Valkyrie armor's not as good. And that's the Yeti armor because I thought it just looked like a good fourth armor to have in here. But with all the Valkyrie armor, it gives you wings! And when you jump, it lets you float. Oh, oh no, I'm just flying. Okay, well it does let you float. And I put all the heads of the bosses we beat from the Twilight Forest up on the wall. So I'm really, I'm really uh, making this place pretty nice. I still haven't fixed the chair issue, so just don't, don't tell H. I also learned how to craft the April Fool's pet. So I'm gonna go and uh, use it as a prank on H since he pranked me. Hey H, knock knock. What? You couldn't come in. Is someone, is someone sleeping? No, I'm hiding. Hey, let me take my shoes off. Yeah, yeah, take your shoes off. Don't muddy up the place. What are you... Why are you hiding? Hiding. hiding. Why? I mean, hide and seek. With who? Panda. I don't think that she's looking for you. Listen, what I want to come want? over. I wanted to say thanks for helping me with the, the slider dungeons and all that. I finally got the full Valkyrie armor, so look, I have wings. How the heck did you get the Valkyrie armor? Well... I just did like about 20 dungeons and I kept getting every piece in a row. I got all of the armors, every set. I hate you. In full. But hey, I wanted to thank you because you showed me how to, how to do it. So I have a, a little present for you. Is it a Valkyrie armor set? Ooh, that would have been better. What is it? Hey, my fools! I... Uh, what did you do? Oh, here you go. <laughs> it's a super spud. I thought something worse was going to happen. It's the April Fool's pet. And you know, bad things normally happen when. Yeah, yeah, you've done like this. To stop! Down the house. <gasps> Just bats. There you go. That's more like it. That was what I was expecting. Oh, a prank. I'm sick. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go home. Enjoy the what bats. They're ah. flooding your house. Oh god, I'm sick. Yeah. Oh, that was a good prank on me. <laughs> I got myself sick. Shelby, you home? Hello. What? H. Shelby. Hey, come in. Open. Knock, no, knock. You... No, no, no. Use the the handle. Do I take my shoes it. off out here? No, 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 you did, do you take, open the door. I take them off inside? Yeah, yeah, take, 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 take off eh. your boots. Hat okay. too, that's just impolite, I'm just saying. No, I never take this off. 
You're, you're gonna, you, you got any extra armor? Cause I see <gasps> that you get that Valkyrie armor. Is this cause of those sessions you're finally getting rid of this Yeti armor? No, 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 no. Uh -oh. Yeah, so I do have some extra sets of armor if you're interested. Yes, I got a I bunch am. after doing all these bosses and stuff from the Aether and the Twilight Forest. So set them all up. Here we have the Neptune set. Ah. You know, the God of Water, very cool. Has a mm. crown, colorful, mm. lively, bright, vibrant, you know. Pretty Just cool. like me. I'm a fan. Looks very royal with the gold. No. Yeah, yeah. Um, here we have the Phoenix armor. Gives you fire resistance when you wear the whole set. I also have the additional gloves that just don't fit on the armor stand. Here I have the, the knightly armor. It's a, a little, mm. like a pale green. Kind of reminds you of Shrek with the, the awkwardly placed brown belt. But you know, it's a, it's a fashion yeah. statement. It's cool. It's got horns. It's spiked. And last we have, well, <gasps> the Yeti armor. You know that you already... Who oh, is this gorgeous piece this... of leather? No, this is fur. It's it's a Hello. fur. Or it's the armor. You're, it's the yeti it's armor. Fur? You're wearing... It must be yeah, so yeti warm. Fur. It's you literally the same one you're wearing. It's it's the alpha yeti. I don't understand. So you're I'll saying this it. is the one? Are you... I'll take two. You already. I mean, you already have one. I'll I only take have this. One. I grabbed eleven. Is that is that fine? Yeah, an extra for the armor stand. And your wisp. No, you can't have the wisp. All right, and then I'll come back for the wisp. And get, no, you're not coming back for the wisp. I'll come back tomorrow. No, you're not. All right, get out. Goodbye, farewell to you, Shabol. Oh my God, you're so stupid. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so I want to tackle a new mod since I pretty much finished the Aether and the Twilight Forest. Oh, I'm hungry, let me see what this does. Well, that was anticlimactic. So the next mod I wanted to check out was um, Batania because it's a flower related mod and it seems really cool. You can make really cool armor out of it and I don't really know what else it does, but the armor does cool stuff and it looks really cool. But I have to make one of these petal apothecaries and gather a bunch of these petals. So I'm going to grab some of the supplies I know I'm gonna need, which is stone and a bucket, which I think I have in here. And then I'm gonna go out and collect, let me see if I have any actually. Where, garden. I might have some of the mystical flowers. Magic black flower. Um, mystical red flower. Mystical purple. That's all that I seem to have already. I need to find white because those are gonna be like the most used ones. But they're pretty easy to find. They just kind of spawn around and they glitter a little bit. So I'm just gonna run around and try and find some of these flowers I need to get the petals that I need. Ooh, there we go, I found some white. All I know is that they're all they're all kind of glowing. So I'm gonna collect up as many of these as I can and run home, because I'm gonna need a lot of these. I have a bunch of the flowers, and now what I need to do, I'm gonna make some petals out of this, and I need to craft a petal apothecary. And then this goes like this, and the petal goes there. <gasps> Beautiful. I'm gonna put this outside, because I need like a pool of water to get to. I put a little water source here, uh, it's out in front of my house, so I'm gonna put this guy right here, and what you're supposed to do is fill it with water. And now if I want to craft a pure daisy, which is what I need to create living rock, and I wanna use that for other things, I'm gonna throw in five, four of these. And oh, I'm supposed to put a seed in. Okay, let me go grab seeds. So now I have seeds, I toss that in. And it gave me a pure daisy. Okay, so now what I do with this guy, I will put him here. And if I place plain stone around it, it'll eventually turn into living stone. And you know it's working because all the little, little particles are going. <gasps> Whoa! It's all turning into living stone! <gasps> living rock. Okay. And now I'm picking this all up. And it's still pure daisy. Very cool. <gasps> Cool, okay, so what I was looking at when I, I looked this up, I looked at Batania, and what I saw was all these little things that you can craft that are items, and they have really cool armor. So I wanna try and make this man of steel armor, cause it, it seems like the first kinda to set to make. This looks like a harder, complicated thing. What we need for this is man of steel by transforming iron in a mana pool. What I can also do with the daisy is make living wood, which I can make a wand out of. I hope this works with this. It's just weirdly connected. Oh yeah, it's working. So now we just have to wait. I'm gonna put all of my mystical flowers in here until I need them. 
along with all my seeds and my wood and my extra stone and buckets and water. And I hold on to my living rock. I made a little mana pool. I'm not sure how to use that yet. Let me wait for this to turn into living wood so then I can turn that into a wand. <gasps> Whoa! There it goes, there it goes. And now I need to turn this into twigs so that I can make a wand. So let me put that in here. I think I need three twigs for my wand. And to make the wand, I can take uh, any petals from any of these flowers. I think I'm gonna do light blue, because I like light blue. I think it's just the color is what it is. So I only needed two. I put in my sticks like this, and then my petals like that, and I have a wand of the forest. <gasps> cool. So apparently something I'm supposed to make, I'm following a guide to try and get like, General knowledge on this mod, we wanna make a day bloom, because this is a, a generating flower, and I'm not sure what it does yet, but all we need is yellow petals, blue, light blue, and orange. One orange, two yellow, and one blue, and we throw in a seed, and we got a day bloom. <gasps> this is so cool. I don't know what it says, but I'm about to find out, because I'm, I'm, I'm learning the ropes for this mod. Now using my wand, I can check these. Oh, they're full of mana, which is what that little yellow bar is. So now to be able to use the mana that these flowers are making, I need to take living wood. So I'm gonna need to make more. I need to make a mana spreader. And this is how I'll be able to obtain the mana. I need to put a petal, and I guess it could be any petal, and just living wood all around it. So I'm gonna make the mana spreader. Put it like that, and now I can put this. Okay, now my day blooms are connected to it because it's making a box around the spreader. Now you can see it's collecting mana and it's gonna be sending it into this mana pool as it fills up. So I've been working up my little mana farm. I have a bunch of these flowers. The nightshade is for, it collects mana at night and then we have the day bloom which collects it during the day. This is collecting a bunch of mana at a time and throwing it into the mana pool which takes a really long time to fill up but this is enough for me to create the next way to collect more mana which is the endo flame flower. So I need mystical brown petals, red petal, and light gray petal. I'm not sure if I have any of those. I also have a little flower pouch. But then also what I need is mana powder, which apparently can be created from almost any other kind of powder. So let me run inside my house, see if I have any other kinds of powder, gunpowder, sugar, um, glowstone, powder, dust, whatever. And here I have a bunch of gunpowder, so that's good. I can make a bunch of mana powder. I don't think I need that much, I only need one. I should make uh, a few of those flowers, but first let me go get some of the petals I need. So in this pouch, I'm able to keep all the flowers that I have, so I can pull out my gray ones, my brown ones, and the red ones, and make the, the leaves that I need. I think I only need to put in one of each of these. So I just throw it in, and it gave me mana powder, so I'm gonna throw in a couple of these. I think I want to make a few of these flowers. I want to see how much mana is still in here. There's, oh, okay, well, it doesn't use too much. I made five of these, that should be okay for now. Two brown, one gray, one red, and our mana powder. So that comes next. And now our seed. And we have our endo flame, which is a generating flower, but it takes coal, so you have to feed it. So we can make a bunch of those and, and upgrade my little generators here so I can use a lot more mana. So these flowers eat coal and that's how you fuel them to create mana, but I don't really feel like standing here and throwing a coal on each of these until it eats it. So I, ooh, that made them all go on fire. I don't know, really know how they work. I didn't really pay that much attention, but I watched how he made this automated system where you can just put coal in here and it'll drop it using this open crate one at a time as they eat it and I have um, seven of them there, and they're all connected to these pools, and it should make this gain mana a lot faster. Yeah, it's gaining mana a lot faster. And those flowers live a lot longer. These day blooms and nightshades only last for like three days before they die, and have to be replaced. So now I'm creating a lot of mana. This thing's automatically putting in my coal. Let me put in some more. I brought a bunch out since I have a lot of coal from mining. And it'll only drop one at a time and let them eat it as they use it and create more mana, and then they eat more. Oh my goodness, look at me, I'm a redstone genius. Whoever thought that was gonna happen? So now that I have this collecting up a lot more mana, I have a few things that I wanna craft with it. I can finally make mana steel, so I can make that first set of armor, the blue one. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of iron ingots. And there's also something else that I wanna make that's called a monocle. So let me grab, oh wow. Okay, let me cook more of this. Where do I even, oh okay, here's my furnaces. Let me put in a bunch of this stuff. 
and cook more of that. And what I'm also gonna need um, is some glass. Okay, I don't have any. Let me put some sand into, oh. Okay, let me get some sand. I also need gold nuggets, so I'm gonna grab those. Okay, so now I should have plenty of iron. I'm gonna be making a full set of armor, but I'll just leave this cooking just in case I need more. That should be plenty. I don't know if I have enough mana yet to do the full set of armor, but let's go see if we can make the first thing. The monocle will only use one ingot. Boop, now I have a little mana steel ingot. So what I'm gonna make first, oh wait, I need to also, so you can make mana glass. And I'm gonna also toss that in here to get one of those for this monocle. So now you put the glass on, I can't even see it. The glass, the ingot, and then three gold nuggets. And now I have a mana steel monocle which I believe is here when you click baubles from here. And now I can add the monocle, I can see it. And what this does is now I can see the, uh, the area of effect of these flowers. So this shows me how far they'll reach. It doesn't work on these flowers. So I guess it's just the endo flame. That's pretty cool. What this, whoa, I'm seeing things that I don't understand. There's enough for a leg and one, two, three, four. That's enough for shoes. Let's see how much mana I used. Oh wow, that was like half of it. But now, I can craft this armor. I'm gonna put it on my armor stand. Whoa, I look like a robot! Oh, I forgot this part. Whoa! It doesn't like cover you completely. Ooh. Okay, that's kinda cool. Let me go put it on my armor stand because I'm not gonna be wearing it. I don't actually know what this does. Maybe I should read that first. So 10% less mana cost on mana tools and rods. Okay. So that's pretty cool, but I don't really need that right now. I'm gonna go put it on an armor stand in my house. So now that I have my Man of Steel armor, I'm gonna put it on the armor stand. I have an empty one because I sold an armor set to H. I also reordered these into the order of how I got them. So I did the Twilight Forest and I got the Yeti armor, which is just the coolest one there, other than my fiery armor, which is in my own room in my house. Neptune armor, Phoenix armor, and now Man of Steel armor. But now I wanna make the robes. Let me see how much string I have. It would be in my mob drops. Oof, okay, not a, not a whole bunch. So how can I get string? Let me check H's house. Ooh, okay, well I'm, I'm just, you know, peeking around H's house and I found the string chest. <gasps> I'm borrowing some. Okay, I'll pay him back for it. I'll need to get another armor, uh-oh. Oh wait, how do we do this? I already messed up, so I need mana weave cloth. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot more. Got enough of the, the cloth. So now we're gonna make each piece of this, this robe thing. I wanna see what this looks like. Okay, I'm gonna take this all off. Oh, that's interesting. Man, we rope, oh my goodness. That is strange. Well, I'm gonna put it on our armor stand. I'm definitely not gonna wear that out. That's gonna be it for today's episode. I plan on doing a lot more with this mod. The next time I wanna open whatever this portal is that I keep reading about. And we're gonna see what that involves. I also know that there's like something with pixies that can fight with you when you get that pink armor. So I'm, I'm gonna do a lot more with this mod next time, but also we're gonna have the speeches coming. So leave a like if you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.